Hi, it's Jan from the mountain. Summer has settled here on the mountain in Tuscany. The air is scented, it's absolutely amazing with the tree blossoms, the trees that grow up and down the mountains and the air is warm. I've been getting lots of washing done and I love this time of the year because I can just hang it outside to dry in the perfumed air and the warming breeze that is gently blowing over the mountains. It's actually really nice to see against the beautiful mountain view that I am so lucky to have here in Italy. Let's take this lot and just hang it out. I love this time of year with the bird song. It's my favourite time. Can you hear the bell striking? The bell is in a medieval bell tower here in my village. I can see it from my bedroom. I love to hear it strike. Life is feeling very good just now. Medieval bell tower strikes on the hour, on the half hour, from seven o'clock in the morning until ten o'clock at night, which I think is very civilized. And it actually did go wrong once after a thunderstorm and was striking in the early hours of the morning, but we won't talk about that. Here's my washing. Perfect day for drying. Well, I have finished spinning up the wool fibre for my next project. It's all plied and I need to make a skein. I don't have any fancy equipment to make my spun yarn into a skein. I do it this way, with my leg. I keep my yarn on the wheel. It's not looped through any of the hooks or the orifice. And I just loop my finger through it so that I don't lose the end. And I'm away. And I do love this way of making a skein because I can do it sitting down and it's very fast. And my arms don't ache when I'm doing it.
doesn't take me very long at all. It's even faster on video. There, just got down to my leader. So what I do is I tie off both of the ends. I also add additional ties for security. And there's my skein. It still has some lanolin in it, as you can see, it's, it's still quite stiff. So I'm going to need to wash it along with all the other skeins that I've spun and made up ready for my new project. This is a skein I've already washed and it's a lot lighter in colour and it's a lot softer than the ones that need washing. Now bear in mind I've already washed the wool fibre before I spun it to get most of the lanolin out and I like to spin it with a little bit in because that's just a personal thing. But once it's made into a skein, it needs to be washed. So I've just had a quick cup of tea and let's go. The weather is still good. So let's take this out onto my balcony and I'll show you what I do to wash my skeins before I actually knit them up. distracted by the view, I'm afraid. Perfect weather. Perfect weather for drying my skeins. I have three bowls and I'm putting a small amount of soap in each one. Not too much because there's only a small amount of water to go in there. See a little mile in the background helping. I have a tap on my balcony, so I just top up the bowls with cold water from my tap. Listen to that bird. The water then becomes hand hot because it was boiling before. I have two bowls on the seats there on the chairs, and it's got tepid, each of them has got tepid water in, and that is for rinsing later on. As I've got six skeins to wash, I'm just putting two in each bowl of hand hot water. let them soak for a short while. The two in the two rinsing bowls, I just put a little bit of white vinegar and this is because when skeins are in the soapy water, even though there isn't much soap in them, it's an alkaline atmosphere and wool prefers to be more acidic so vinegar in the last rinse 
helps bring the acid level up to the level that the wool likes and neutralize all that alkalinity that it doesn't really like. I'm just pushing it underneath here in the hot water and it's time to rinse. So what I've done is I've squeezed out some of the soapy water and I've just put the skein into the bowl of tepid clear water. And I just agitate it a little bit to try and get the soap, any soap residue out of the wall. Don't have to be too gentle. I'm not really rough with it, but I'm not too gentle either, if you see what I mean. So when I think I've rinsed it enough in the first bowl, I'll just rinse it through in the second bowl with a little drop of vinegar in there to make my yarn happy again in the right atmosphere. I've got so much to do. This is the second one I am actually well you'll see in a minute what I do next. things up a little bit and I can show you the next stage. To thwack or not to thwack. I do thwack my wool yarn. It softens it a little bit. It kind of breaks up the fibre a wee bit and it softens it. I don't over thwack but I do give it a little bit of a thwack and then I'll just hang it up to dry. I usually do two thwacks and then I do a quarter turn and another two and another quarter turn until I've done all the way around. And there they are, my skeins. Isn't that a magnificent sight? I hang them in a heart shape because I just love making yarn. So thank you for watching this video today. Please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you'll be the first to hear about my new videos when I release them. See you next time.